Welcome back to week two with my special guest host, Jeff Balky. Thank you for watching What's a special... Up? Let me finish my fucking intro. What you... What the... Jesus. You already... Look, one episode and you're already like, it's my show. Is, is he like this all the time? Okay. You calling your... Pub, my publisher? No, fuck this guy. Note to self. No advertising space. Send. Nope. Tell him to eat my ass. Today, we're good to go. You guys can tell we're having fun here. So, anyways, <laughs> back week two for a special edition of Breaking the Fourth Wall. I'm your host, Junior Ruiz. Of course, no David Dirty Sanchez this week, but I do have in this place Jeff Balky. Jeff, again, thank you for being here. Now you're a busy, busy man. Can I talk? Running your own company. Yeah, now you can talk. Okay, cool. Awesome. Good. Thank you. So now you have nothing to say? Well, what? I just said you're running your own company. That was the lead in, man. Oh, yes. I have my own company. <laughs> we don't Tell have them. we don't we don't have a name yet. Okay, we're at, we're hopefully for issues. Yeah, but two. I, I was gonna notice. I was gonna ask you about that because yeah. I noticed because the first thing you always do is look in the corner for something. Right. I'm like they go by UL. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of people asking, "What does UL mean?" I'm Urban Legends. Like, is that the yeah, it says name? it right there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you never know. Right. But right. yeah, hopefully with the the third issue, we're gonna have it all like signed, sealed, deliver the name, mm -hmm. so we can you know we just want to make sure everything is set and done and legalities and stuff um are you guys doing it where you're, you're trying to stick to your own schedule like okay we say it's a monthly book it's gonna be monthly or you're taking liberties like hey, it'll be out when it's done kind of both okay. i know that kind of sounds confusing but we don't we don't want it to extend like the seven eight nine weeks mm -hmm. you know we don't want it like every three quarters you know we get a book that comes out um, like hardcore from Robert Kirkman and Mark Silvestri. <laughs> yeah. <first> issue <laughs> yeah. Shift and I'm still waiting on issue two. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Um, because there is only two of us doing this, Brandon, my co, my Brent, everything, uh, Brandon, myself. Um, it's kind of hard to make sure that we get everything situated and organized, and of course we got to pay mm -hmm. people at the same time. So we have to kind of go like around the show schedule. So whatever my money comes up from the shows. It's gone. Yeah, it's like recycling <laughs> itself. Oh, oh now, yeah. Now, Big Dog Inc. is local as well. Yeah. Have you gone to Tom and oh. Kim and just kind of like, hey, can you guys give me some pointers on how to do this? You know, because this is a big thing. You right. doing your own company now. I thought about it, but I but, um, no. Or anybody else? Or are you just kind of like, you know, I'm just going to do this myself? Kind of just want to do it myself. Um, okay. I, because I've been in the industry for, you know, long enough, at least I think long enough, I kind of see what not to do and what to do. Mm -hmm. Um I kind of just want to, I guess, kind of just wing it and just kind of see how it goes. I don't really want to ask because it's, it's always different. Yeah. For every single company, it's everyone does it differently. So mm -hmm. it's like, well, why don't we just do it ourselves, kind of see where we go. Um, yeah, that that's pretty much how we're doing it, just wing it. Then you never it. just thought, you know, hey, maybe tell me something that I should totally avoid all out right and I may not know. That's what I have an attorney for. Yeah, but see, you wouldn't have to pay time to him. You just ask them. I'm not paying this guy either. He's a friend of mine. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. No, I'm, I with with that kind of stuff. I'm, I that's one of the first things that I kind of watch. Mm -hmm. um, but with like some of the contracts and agreements and stuff that we have with the artists, I kind of know what to put in there mm -hmm. to where it's not screwing them over, and it's of course definitely not screwing me or us over mm -hmm. um, in the company. So. Um, I try to make it almost like a friendship. I know that kind of sounds weird as well, too, because it's a business, not right. just a friendship. But everybody that works on Urban Legends, and, or at least this book, because it's the only one we have out right now, um, I would just want us all to be one big family. I don't want, like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut your throat. And I, I want to do cover A. No, I want to do cover B. I, wanna do I don't want to do that. Right. You know, I just want all of us to just to create a comfortable fun. working there. Exactly. And That's as of right now... All these guys, because they've never worked in the industry before, with the exception of myself and Keith Thomas, our writer. Yeah. Um, Hi, Keith. Hey, Keith. Hopefully you're watching. Uh, <laughs> I know he's else. a fan of ours. I hope he watches the show. Oh, cool. I know. Yeah. I know he does follow us. So. Oh, sweet. Hey, Keith. Uh, we got to talk about Urban Legends uh, number six and or seven and eight, nine, and ten. Well, how ahead Just are you? Saying. Now that you bring that up, how ahead are you on schedule in terms of getting the book and having so this issue completed? Written, we are written up to issue six. Okay. Issue four is being uh, worked on right now, um, illustrated, and then the colorings for two, of course, are done. Uh, coloring for three, which okay, I am not coloring issue two. Very odd. Moment of silence. <laughs> Yeah, I had a lot of moments of silence. Uh, but the guy we found is awesome. 
He's fantastic. He's actually going to be our I'm gonna illustrator. Put you on the spot. Huh? I'm going to put you on the spot. Put it. Is he better than you? Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you I, don't I, have to answer that. I'm giving no, you shit. No, you know what? I'll answer it. I'll, I'll actually answer that. <laughs> In his style, yes. Okay. Because I can't do what he does. So what's the difference? Because a lot of people, they don't think, you know, because you get... You know you, the common uh, credits on a comic book. You know the writer, the artist, the cover artist, if the inker, if they're lucky. Right. Colors hardly ever get the credit. The only right. other colors, I, I'm gonna be honest, the only other colors I can really think of that comes to mind besides you is Kate Finnegan. Yeah. You know, yeah, I big really, dog. Yeah. yeah. I really don't know a whole lot of colorists. Yeah. I look at her as more of an artist. Now, yeah, I think even when she was just like I don't say, I don't want to say just coloring, right? But I think you know even she's, then, she shifted art. more yeah. heavily, more in art than coloring. But right. I mean, she does do both, of, of course. Yeah. But nowadays, she's more right. towards the art. Oh, absolutely! I love her fucking style. Oh my her god! Art, some of her art. I actually have one. Check this out here in my phone. I keep it with me. This is one of the f <laughs> my favorite covers that she has done to date, in my opinion. Oh, uh, no, I'm curious. But yeah, you know, it's, even it's her even that attitude, old. that just adds. Because she is one hell of an awesome person. No, she's very awesome. Please tell me I didn't. Delete. There it is. The, uh... Ah, oh, okay. The Land 17. Yeah, yeah. Like, I just... It just... I was like, wow, that's... You could feel, great. like, everything flowing and Yeah, moving. exactly. You really can, especially exactly. with her style. And, oh, yeah. I agree. Yeah, but, our, you know, our guy, John, who just, who just worked on uh, um, issue two for us, mm -hmm. he just has a completely different style. You know, really? so that's I'm gonna say in, in his style, yes. Okay. That's the cool part about art. Everyone has their own different style. Even if you almost look like a copycat from somebody else, you actually have your own style. So. Now that's what I was starting to get to before I was. Not yeah. On the phone. <laughs> As a colorist, because a lot of people will think, you know, hey, you just color shit. Like in clerks, remember you're just a tracer. <laughs> just a tracer. Yeah. So <laughs> as a colorist, how do you define a style? Like, how do you create your own style when you figure, like, for those that don't know, it's just like, well, you just take the red crayon and you color it red. Bang, let's go. <laughs> like, how, how does that translate into having your own style? Where you put the highlights, where you put the shadows. Um, not to kind of go back to inkers, but well, the inkers, you can definitely tell their own style because when they're doing uh, certain inks, you can see they do, like, cross-hatching. Okay. They do stippling, all those little dots. You know, yeah, it yeah, just yeah. kind of depends kinda on like the Kind of like the Jack Kirby dots. Yeah, the day. yeah. Uh, with colorists, like with myself, um, Back when I was first starting, it looked very it looked very airbrushed. Okay. But that's pretty much what everybody was doing. Now I kind of have more of an edgy kind of feel. It's it's like airbrush meets chalk. Hmm. I don't even know how to I don't even know how to explain it. I just kind of pulled it out of my ass just now. I don't even know how I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> but if you if you ever look at my stuff, you look at the stuff back then. Like okay, look at my very first Zenoscope book, mm -hmm. which was um, Tales from Wonderland number three. Then you look at Drastic Strike Force 5, uh, another Zenoscope book I worked on. Wasn't that like an imprint of theirs, like Silver Dragon? It was like Silver like Dragon that? books, yeah. Okay. Um, night and day. I mean, you can tell that it's still, it's still me because I, I love the vibrant colors. I always have. Yeah. Hello. You know, I just, I've always liked that, but Very you pastel. can definitely, yes, thank you. Aww. And red. My ears are warm. My, my ears. Yes, yeah, your ears you are really that? fucking red. That always happens when I'm warm, when the air conditioning's on. I don't know. It happens Trust to me when I get pissed off and I can't say anything. Well, I'm not pissed. Did you see my ears earlier? No. They're pretty red. I felt them. No, because we had a hat on. That's right. See, I fucking forget. See, well, yeah, well, that she was she was interesting. Oh, and the old are, lady. Are, you, are you talking about? I just meant. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll go with the old lady. Okay. Let's just talk about the old lady. <laughs> we won't say it's nothing else. No. No. But um. What? Seriously? That. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> you completely lost what I was saying. Well, my the art my style vibrator was going off. My phone was going off here. Oh yeah, but um, you look at my stuff back then and now. You can definitely tell that there's a that there's a different styling. Yeah. But my style now is kind of like your turtles. Mm -hmm. You kind of see like how it's how it how I worked on it. Look, kind of looks like shapes and. Yeah. It's hard to explain. Really. That, now that you bring up the turtles, I gotta say I am still upset that you're retiring those. <laughs> and then you didn't finish. Because I'm like, I still need Shredder. I still need Bebop and Rocksteady. I had to get a Rocksteady from Sean Eileen. Okay. Because he posted a <laughs> yeah. Rocksteady he did a while back. I said, like, dude, when you bring that to the show, I will buy it. You know, as soon as I saw him Friday, I was like, where's the Rocksteady? You know, he's like, oh, yeah. So that, that was actually the only print I bought that entire weekend. Oh, really? Just the, run, the, just the Rocksteady. Good for you. So, but I'm like, you got to finish the set, dude. 
I'm gonna be very, very irritated with you if you don't. Well, keep in mind, being a colorist, I have to re I have to rely on other people to finish it off. And that particular artist, unfortunately, I don't work with anymore. Uh, we won't so, talk about that. Yeah, no. It's, okay. it's not a sore subject. So, so he went in one direction, and you yeah. know, with starting all this, it's kind of kind of difficult. I understand. So. I understand. I'm still mad. Well, wait, maybe I'll draw you a stick figure. How about that? <laughs> With spikes on it. Like, oh, With spikes on it. Here's your shredder. <laughs> right? Um. <laughs> totally just threw me off. I was like, wait, I was going to say something? <laughs> so going back, why? I think, I think I asked you this last week, and if I did, you could just totally tell me, dude, you already asked me that, and we'll skip it. Why did you not want to work for Marvel and DC? Did I ask him that earlier? Yeah, yeah. Or oh. yet last week? <laughs> the magic of editing right <laughs> alright never mind fuck that question then anyways so okay tell me about how you got hooked up with Keith and uh I'm sorry I forgot his name the the uh the artist in the book Medina oh Medina yeah um how I got hooked up, up with, with Keith them? because actually Keith for for many years we we just we knew him yeah. you know uh and he wanted to break into the industry he knows Tyler Kirkham and I was friends with Ty I'm still friends with Tyler and so that's kind of how I got to know Keith and then he started writing mm -hmm. and he did um he did a couple of issues actually he did a, a mini series with Zenoscope called Screwed yes and, uh he also that was good he, at the same time I think he was working or he just he went did. over to Big Dog no he did uh well in terms of release dates I know Big Dog stuff came out first. Oh, the, did the it? Cricket okay, one okay. shot. And cricket. Yeah, that's what yeah. it was, Cricket. He did that You're first. Because right. actually, we saw him at Wizard World about two years ago. And he was there, so we interviewed him about Cricket. Him mm -hmm. and, um, I forget his name, the artist that Corey? was on the book. Corey. Yes. Yeah. We interviewed the both of them Who was going to be actually doing one of our mini series actually. Really? Yes. All right. And Keith is writing it. Nice. So, well, it's yeah. good when they you get two people who've already worked together, so you know they've their yeah, chemistry. Yeah, yeah, they they have very good chemistry together. They both want to work together again. So that's good. Yeah. Well, you know, another interesting segue. Okay. Saying chemistry. Yeah. Let's talk about your personal life. Okay. For those that don't know, you just recently got married. Yay! Congratulations Thank on that. Thank you. Uh, a lot of people do not know because I, I first I'll admit when I met you I didn't know. <laughs> I really didn't know, and uh, it was it was told to me. I was like, damn, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whatever, you know. Because I'm not your classic, I'm not your traditional. Right. You're not rocking, like, your little sister's pants and shit right. like that, you know. Ew. Skinny jeans. Although, Dang. that rocking those, okay. You rock skinny me. jeans? Of course. You're the, oh, <laughs> no, he does. That's skinny. I'll let you slide. <laughs> no, right. he does. Everybody gets one. <laughs> but anyway, so, you, uh, we were talking off camera earlier. You are the first openly gay married man in comics. How does that make you I feel? Think so, yeah. Well, that we know of. That that we know of. Yeah. yeah. Um. Like anyone else. <laughs> miserable. I mean, I, honestly, I'm <laughs> miserable. <laughs> I mean, it's marriage. So. No, personally, it yeah. makes it actually makes us feel really, really good. Okay. Because it's out there. Yeah. And like you, a lot of people just didn't know. Nobody treats us differently, and that's good. We don't want to be treated yeah, no. differently. I don't see a reason um, why. It just it's kind of like it's just more personable, and when people come up to us, they're like, wow. Like you just shared something extremely personable that mm -hmm. that says a lot about you as a character and as a person, we, right? And we've heard that a lot, especially at C two E two, because You're making me tear up, man. That was our <laughs> that was our that was our honeymoon with C two E two. Really? <laughs> yeah, isn't that could have been worse? <laughs> it could have been a wizard. <laughs> Ooh, I look at me close. Brandon is behind the camera, so I know you guys can't see, but I pointed behind, pointing at Brandon. But uh, you know, no, he I knows. Don't. You know what I mean. Mm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so you get, yeah. Um, I'm just playing wizard. It's coming up time. It's soon. We'll have to be applying for my press badge. So wizard, <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, we're we're just we're very happy, you know, because this is our business venture. You know, that we created this company. Mm -hmm. We created this. Um, he quit his job actually going on two years uh, this upcoming December, so a year and a half. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you? Do? I'm gonna ask him off camera. What did you used to do before <clears throat> that? I worked for Starbucks. Yeah, you made a good career choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's rough. <laughs> well, you're a big Starbucks. You know me yeah. at Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's you know insurance is gone. You know because yeah. I mean, we, we don't we lost that. It's actually good insurance. You know, so we lost kind of some of that stuff, and it's scary. But it was one of the best. I think one of the best decisions I think that we made because actually it got one. It got us closer. And. Two, we just, I don't know, we just, I guess that's it. We just, just we're just closer. The, yeah. 
Now, how'd you guys meet? <laughs> Online. I was gonna say, was it at Starbucks? No, <laughs> no, I, I, I didn't even like coffee when like, I first. Give me met a him. mocha latte. I will give you a fucking mocha latte, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, we we uh, we met on Gay.com. Really? Yeah. Should see people meeting all over the internet. Yeah. It's a new age, man. New age. Have you have you received any negative backlash for you being gay in the industry? No. Because you know um, there are still some people who just do not understand. Right. Shit. You know, I, I could kind of imagine some maybe some hate or some bigotry or something like that. Nothing. I I, I don't I don't think so. I mean, um, at least nothing's been said to your face. Not to my face, and not to anyone that necessarily that we know. Mm -hmm. But I don't think anybody would tell us anyway. Um. No. <laughs> okay. We'll talk about that. We'll, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's an off-camera conversation, ah, which we'll talk about. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but no, I mean, no. in all honesty, no. We, mm -hmm. We've never heard anything negative or anything like that. You know, no um, no one even looking at us weird. Um, actually, we have more, believe it or not, we have a lot more women that come up to us now. Really? <laughs> They're like, oh my God, it's so cool. They give us big hugs. Did you ever look at him and be like, dude, this would not happen if we were straight? <laughs> <laughs> we never say that, but all of, our, all of our straight friends are like, damn, I got Can I just straight. hang out with you? Right. <laughs> exactly. Just let me be a group of good <laughs> <laughs> like you want the print? I'll give you the print, you know. <laughs> Speaking of prints though, um I was starting to think about the question earlier when we were talking about something else. How is it that a lot of the guys in the artist alley can get away with selling prints of copyrighted characters without Marvel and DC being like shut this booth down, you know what I mean? They have every right to go to anybody they want and actually shut them down right then and there. Now I don't know the exact legalities behind it. I'm just kinda going off of everything that I've heard. Mm -hmm. um, as long as you're not recreating an actual cover, so like if like you're not taking any of these covers and you're making a print, mm -hmm. you're you're pretty much okay. They'll look the other way. Right. As long as you're not doing anything naughty, you're not doing it to um, what's the word I'm looking not not just derogatory. Derogatory mm -hmm. against the character, you know, like the Harley. Up. Well, but you can tell. It's, but there's that's not bad. You're just seeing ass cheeks, and a okay. smiley. But you know, still that sideways smile. Why gotta be that one up? That's because that's what it is. It's a good print. I don't know how to say it wasn't. Don't fuck it up. You got one in the car? No. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, that's just kind of what I heard. I mean, as long as you. Because I think it was Adam Hughes, or I believe it was Adam Hughes, a few years ago. Uh, Marvel, I think, came down on him. Really? Don't quote me. It was it was an Adam. But I don't know if it was Adam Hughes though. Okay. Um, they said you can't recreate that cover, and he says, "Why? I drew it." Yeah. And they came back and said, "Well, we paid you for it." Okay. It's like ah, okay. So that's kind of how that's how he got. I don't see he got in trouble. Just um, kind of. Just got pretty much like a slap on the down. hand, a finger. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I always wondered that. I was like, damn. Yeah. What's to stop me from making stick figures? Man, that's Spider Man. Five bucks, you know. Right. <laughs> I'm like, no, Marvel, you cannot do that. So we're actually we're actually starting to get away from a lot of that. You know, we we've got our own prints now. Now that we have our own books, we have our own characters. Uh, we have a whole new series coming up very soon, mm -hmm. which we've got a whole different universe. We're going to be bringing up our own characters. So are you guys, are you going to try to incorporate, are you guys going to just like jump in head first and be like, okay, we're going to roll out like 10 titles, or are you guys going to take it gradually? No, time? we're going to take it gradually, we have to take it gradually, because like, you know, um, like I think I was saying before, it's just the two of us, so it's very two hard, right, <laughs> good song, um, it's really hard to try to get everything done with just two people yeah, I can running everything, so we're looking for help, looking for help. <clears throat> I'm not working Wizard World, just so you know. Wink, wink. Comics yeah. remixed is not working. Wizard World. Oh. Wink, wink. No, I didn't say that because I still need my press badge. <laughs> wink, wink. I meant. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's another off-camera yeah. conversation. <laughs> I'm gonna get myself in trouble here. Um, well, no, that, that's really cool. I'm glad that you're, you know, you're doing what you love, and now you're doing it in a capacity where you really don't have to answer to anybody. Right. Not, you uh, know? Yeah. Exactly. You know, you're your own boss. That's that's the best way to go. You know, I'm, I'm a stern believer of if you want something done right do it yourself you know i can't tell you how many times i've done that and things i still have planned to you know do it right so to speak right but um i'm i'm very i'm very impressed with how with how well this is actually i was just going to ask you like how well received has it been since it's come out it's um i think it's only been out for like believe eight weeks okay. ever since mega almost two months right so about, about approximately about two months and um, we keep on selling out of the first uh, cover. Ten weeks cover by the time this airs. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly.
But cover A, which is this one right here, is uh, is almost sold out completely. Mm -hmm. So we will be going into a reprint. And Different cover? It's going to be pretty much the same cover. We're just going to change up the color. It might just be black and white where I can do my coloring on it. Mm -hmm. Or it'll just be something else. So you were asking me questions about the covers off camera earlier. Yes. I will say when it comes to reprints, I am a fan of, I don't say drastic changes, but subtle, like if you just change the color of the logo and be like, I don't want to buy your second printing. You know, now if you were to be like, right. if you were to reverse the image or so, something, I mean, extremely noticeable. Yeah. You know, then I'd be like, all right, cool, I get the second printing. Or if it's like, like you said, a black and white or something, right. I would totally do it. Okay, just good. don't don't do don't do me a favor. And no, please no, do no, not no, just no, do no, something. No. Well, she's now a brunette or something, you know? Because then I'd be like, what? <laughs> no, I'm not buying that. You know? No, most likely what we're probably going to do at least with this issue. I don't care. I can say it. I'll, I'll probably get hit by Brandon later on down the road in the car in the car bah! on the way back to the home uh, back home. But I'm going to take the cover, make it black and white, except for her. Okay. So do something kind of like that where I can still color, kind of do my sketch coloring around her. Okay. Um, or I just might have it all black and white, and then I'll, I'll color it up whenever people want me to color it. Just so I can still get the sketch coloring variant mm -hmm. out there. Gotcha. That's very cool. Now tell me about how each cover came to be. Um, all different artists. Actually, no, two of them are the same artist. This particular one here, we just said here, art, um, his name is Anthony Marcano. Okay. Right? Did I say his last name right? Okay, good. <laughs> no, I always, I, I always say his last name wrong, and I feel like an ass. I feel bad about that. But, um... A phenomenal artist, you can, as you can see from the cover, at least I, in my opinion. All these guys are. Um, I've always been a fan of the shiny lip. Like the, <laughs> like the gleam on the lip. Yeah. Like Campbell, I know Campbell does it a lot. Um, yeah. There's another artist who used to do it all the fucking time. I think Bagley did it as well. So that's probably where it like really hit me. Yeah. Like just the gleam. I just, yeah. I love that. <laughs> it always stands out. This, you know, the artwork on here almost reminds me of Tyler Kirkham, kind of. Okay, yeah. I can see that. Mixed with, uh, what's his face in Zesco? Uh, Jamie? We were just talking about him? Right. Um, I, I'd go more I don't want to butcher his last name. Tyndall. There you go. Tyndall. It's not a hard name. I didn't remember it, so I didn't want oh. to be like Thumbtack or something. You know? But no, like it's just, I like the style. It's very clean as well. You know, yeah. it's not, I, I'm not a huge fan of like super shady uh, characters, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. or not shady, but shaded. No, I know what you meant. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's clean artwork, but the detail is where it has to be. Right. You know, I right. like that. I like it. But you know, so we 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 actually saw him at a show, and uh, we were just we were talking. He wanted he wants to get out there uh, because again, like I think I was saying before, these people have not worked in comics before, mm -hmm. so we're actually taking brand new people, giving them a, giving them a shot. Okay. Because they just they they rock, and they hit us in the right way. Uh, to where we can say, well, let's just go ahead and let's give them a shot. If, if they suck, it's only one book. Right. But thankfully, every single person we invited back to be part of our team from here on out. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, they have to be invited to show, and uh, he came out to us as a fan. We just started talking, and he showed me his stuff. I'm like, dude, that's great. Um, which one is it? This guy here, Adam, he is actually an art teacher in Indiana, Brandon? <coughs> Missouri. Oh, Missouri. Wow, I was a little. This off. almost looks like the crow. Like the coloring on it. Like when I first saw it, I was just like, "Is that the crow?" Is that oh, okay. No, I, yeah, I, I, see I can see that. Yeah. Like just the shading around the eyes, and then like how it drops down right there towards the yeah. cheek. If you were to actually see this cover, because when he paint when he because he painted it, I think it was all acrylic and watercolor, I believe, or something like that. Um, this particular cover was very vibrant. Okay. And I'm like, you know what? It's not sitting right for some reason. I don't know why. When I think Urban Legends, I don't think vibrancy necessarily. So I changed it to black and white. And I wanted, and it actually now gives kind of like that um, Night of the Living Dead, the original Night of the Living Dead, 1950s mm -hmm. horror. Like the grainy film yeah. kind of look. Yeah, yeah. I, I can see that. I think it's fantastic for that. Um, the second cover that he did for issue two, actually I'm keeping color. <laughs> It's getting a really good response already. It's not even in print. Now, do you get to keep some of this uh, artwork for yourself, like the original art? Is that like, did you write that in a contract? Like, you know, you draw the covers, I get to keep it, so you frame it and shit, <laughs> right in your office. You know what? I am at, no. I just gave you an idea. No, you did not. Lies. No, because I actually want them to sell the original art if they wanted to. Oh, that's cool. Let them get the money for it. Right, right, right. You know, yeah, I want to make money too. The company wants to make money, but you, you got to be good to your people. That's, that's, that's the doing biggest that is thing. one of the 
Yeah, that's the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. And then this guy here, who did both of these covers, the uh, MegaCon exclusive and the C2E2 exclusive, uh, you know Ebass, don't you? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know him, but I know who he is. But you know who he is? Yeah. Well, he's got a brother, love a art. brother named Rick. Right, right, right. That's him. That's Rick. Uh, Rick Bassadula. Bassad ba Rick Bass. That's what I call him. And if you're watching, I know I butchered your name. <laughs> you tried. That's what I counts. You try. tried, man. So I, I, I love his style. Actually, that Harley Quinn, that's Rick. That was. That's right. That's, that's why I heard his name before, because I asked yeah. you at the show. And you're like, yeah, you know. Like, you know, like, yeah. Well, that's his brother. We have uh, we got a, we got a few prints that he and I uh, collaborated on. And that's where I'm like, you know, I like his style. Huh? Now he's saying hi, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you sat here with me for two weeks now. See yeah. how time flies? We didn't take baths. Now they're still wearing the same I know. Outfit. Well... It's like You're still stuck to the seat. It's like a con. Yeah, I'm still stuck to the seat. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I want to thank you for being on the show, thank you. sharing your your wealth of knowledge with us, and as far as comic industry, your personal life, and everything. But lastly, man, you got to plug yourself, dude. You know, we are for the independents, so you are an independent. You must plug yourself. You must tell the viewers where they can find your stuff, where they can find you, the whole shebang. You can find me in the fifty cent bin. No, I'm kidding. Damn. I <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we don't have those here, so <laughs> right. We're not. You're not gonna find them here. Good. Um, www.jbalkysart.com is my website. Uh, Facebook, you can find me at J Balky's Colors, uh, which is my fan page, and then just my name, Jeff Balky, for for uh, regular Facebook, but that's full. And um, I got in. Last but not least, we have a brand new one, which is actually the Urban Legends Group. Mm. So if you want to know anything about Urban Legends, and we're going to be actually displaying our whole team up there in this upcoming week to kind of show you guys, hey, this is who they are, this is what they work on, this is what they do. and um, But that's, if you just go under Facebook, Urban Legends Comic Series, and uh, it'll pop right up. Because I get all the notifications. Cool. Yeah, cause I, yeah, I think I had to do. Just talking, <laughs> posted it. Like, oh, all right. <laughs> Cool. So is that, it? is that what everything you find? No Twitter, no Instagram, nothing like that. I don't, I don't, I don't even know my Instagram. Do you tweet? I don't twat at all. I, 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 I used to I call it that. I, say twat. I still call it that. Yeah. I don't. I think I'm, I picked that up from you. I'm a Facebook whore. So am I. I'm always on there. Well, we have a Twitter, Twitter, whatever. We've got one, but I hardly ever use it. Yeah, I don't. He's probably more Twitter than I am. So you're Twitter. He's Twitter. <laughs> 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 Well, Jeff, thank you again for being thank on the you. show. You guys heard where you can find them, so make sure you guys pick up Urban Legends number one before it is completely gone, and then you have to rely on the second printing. And we all know first printings are always better. If you want to get in on the ground up. They're worth remember, 50 cents more. And, re <laughs> and remember, you heard it here first. So for another uh, special episode of Breaking the Fourth Wall, I am Junior from Comics Remixed, Jeff Balke. See you guys next week. Thank you. <laughs>